What? Popeyes. That's what's happening. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Yo, what is going on guys? So stoked for this one today. You guys know I love Popeyes and I don't get it enough. It's expensive, but whatever. We're doing it, breaking the bank, and it's a treat for me. So I'm gonna really, really enjoy this, but I'm also really gonna enjoy the video I have for you today. I know you guys like the story times and that, and this might have a little bit of story in it, but this is more uh, the advice column guy. I've never tried to be the advice column guy. I kinda saw some shit on the internet that I stumbled upon, and it got me feeling some type of way. I wanted to sort of share my experience, I want to give the males of my audience, and my audience is 75% dudes, uh, the women can chime in too, and I can't wait to see the comments, I can't wait to get shredded or praised or whatever, or open a discussion, but just want to like try to give some tips and shed some light and give some advice and sort of talk about my experiences within the realm of women, attracting women, picking up women, dating women, I guess, just sort of just that whole thing in general. So, all right, so what have I got? Four piece mild chicken. I have a large coleslaw because Popeye's coleslaw is the absolute truth onion rings then of course the mashed potatoes and gravy classic can't have a Popeye's meal without it obviously I'm getting my sauces ready here before you start eating greasy fried chicken get your sauces ready if you have greasy slippery fingers and you're trying to open these especially these ones these Louisiana ones are very difficult to get open you'll never get them open with a greasy finger. How did I get to this? Why is this my video topic today? Well, I was just cruising around on the internet as one does. I'm gonna go in with an onion ring on a blackened ranch first, surprisingly enough. That batter's good. So I was cruising around on the internet, clicking down the rabbit holes and going places and I eventually got to this whole shit about these guys called incels. And what an incel is means involuntary celibate. So, meaning they can't get laid for the life of them. Um, and it's like the biggest problem in their life, it's their main focus. They're trying to get laid, but they could never get laid because women don't like them, will never like them. And, you know, they condemn women for it. They blame women. They get mad at women. It's their fault. They should be able to get laid. They should be able to have girls like them. And, and you know, these guys are kind of delusional slash clearly lack confidence, very insecure, um, very beta males. And uh, so a lot of these guys, they, they have like this community where they all kind of band together and they just talk about how shitty it is and how life is so difficult and without you know the women that they want and there's been some some of these like shooters elliot roger and just these guys who who have done some pretty horrific things to people in the face of the fact that like, they just can't get girls, they can't get laid. And they wanna sit around and like sulk and cry about it. And the way I view it is <clears throat> they're just not taking ownership of their manhood. They're just being weak, soft, lacking confidence, beta males. And so, that's currently my viewpoint on that now. But if, it, if, if I was looking at this, you know, back 10 years ago, when I didn't have, you know, very much success with women, when I wasn't awesome with girls or have any real deep experience and I wasn't having the best time...
with uh, with with women. Back then, I might have, you know, empathized with these guys a little more, but I've grown up, I've I've lived, I've moved, I've I've figured things out, you know, and that growth and that learning came from getting out there and. Working on it, working on myself, working on my confidence. Not just giving up and thinking I'm entitled to girls liking me or whatever, because we're not. Girls don't owe you shit. Women don't owe you shit. And as a male, you should especially know that because biologically speaking, we are the ones who should be sort of taking that male energy that 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 alpha sort of bravado and and pursuing them and but not in a desperate fashion and that's what a lot of guys do and don't understand So as the saying goes, nice guys finish last. That's true, and there's a reason for it. And the reason, a lot of times I don't think dudes really like understand, they don't look at it and think, about the reason behind the saying. But the reason behind the saying dates back thousands of years. It dates back to, you know, pre-selection and evolution the nice guys a long time ago not in this modern society those were the guys who died okay those dudes couldn't provide those are the dudes I get killed and conquered And so women, of course, don't gravitate to men who don't exhibit that type of character. That if you exhibit Characteristics that could indicate that you're confident and you can provide and you can protect. Though we live in a modern society, whether the women want to admit it or not, we think we've come too far and we're too advanced now. I mean, to an extent, there's anomalies and there's a little bit, there's going to be differences here and there. And it is advanced, but we have advanced. But at the core, subconsciously, these are all things that whether you realize it in the moment or not, are playing into your decision-making process when, you know, trying to attract a female or, or being or a female being attracted to you by a male. 
that's all coming into play. That's all a factor. And like I said, I, th I feel like a lot of dudes just don't really understand why that was. So there's like a little quick scientific breakdown for you. That's the whole thing behind Nice Guys Finish Last. Nice guys tend to kind of shower women with compliments and, you know, be really accommodating and stuff like that. And women don't want that. Do you know how, how many times a good looking girl per day gets a guy telling her like, oh, you're so beautiful and blah, 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 like, there's a lot of psychology involved too, and that's for them. Like that shit is boring. They're like, "Oh, like you again? Like this guy? Well, he like, do I really care? Like clearly, I know. Like, I get told this all the time. Women don't want it so easy. They want to like chase a guy." And they want to go to chase them, but in a way where there's like sort of like a power struggle, I guess I, maybe I should say. There should be like that whole like banter back and forth. And it should be that she should feel like to get with you isn't going to be like the snap of a finger, like groveling at her feet when guys are giving out compliments that like that like really overtly to like showering women like that they're bored they're like oh great so obviously like you want to get with me where's the fun in that where's the chase in that where's the mystery in that if you're a dude who's going to exhibit alpha male type behavior but know how to do it in what i will call I want to say like the tasteful asshole, the charismatic asshole. You do have to be a bit of an asshole, but there's a, a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. The wrong way to do it is to be a macho douchebag showing his male dominance by like fighting people and just like saying outright mean things to girls. Like some guys just say mean shit to girls. And that's not the way to be like. An alpha with girls. The right way to be an alpha with girls is to. Showcase and exude male confidence. Be confident. Be con you have to be confident. First and foremost, women are attracted. People in general, in business and whatever, guy to guy, confidence is attractive. Straight up. If you're not confident in this life, you're not going to get very far. Confidence is key for like a lot, a lot of stuff. Women especially. If they see that you're not confident, then they're going to see that you're a pushover and that you're like too, too easy to pursue, I'll take advantage. And it just, it's not really going to work out. So be confident. The other thing is you have to be you know like clever and witty and funny and charismatic like if you can be that tasteful asshole 
where you have like clever, witty remarks, like little burns, but then it opens up the door for her to kind of shoot back at you. And now you have this like sort of banter going on back and forth with each other, but it's not like you're just like outwardly, it's like teasing, like you're hurting, you're not like hurting people's feelings. You're just like teasing each other and it's fun and it's jokey and it, it, op it opens up, it creates the ability for like fun dialogue. It creates that push and pull. And when you have that push and pull, that's fun. That creates tension. That creates attraction. And believe me, women want to jab. Women will jab right back at you. Like one more other big point that I want to say was when you're out having a good time. Energy is binary, positive or negative. If you're exuding positive energy, if you're in that state of self-amusement, you're just going around, you're having fun, you're cracking jokes, but you're, it's only for yourself. You're amusing yourself, essentially. And in that uh, experience, you're putting out an energy where you're giving. You're giving out good energy. People want to be part of that. If you feel like you're the party, People gravitate towards the party. Women gravitate towards the party. Women want part of that. If you're coming at a woman with a negative energy, with a taking energy, with a, I want this from you, or I need you to amuse me, they sense that shit and they're going to be like, no, I don't want to be part. Like they would rather be drawn into your party, your energy. So energy is a big, big thing for anything for even just drawing people into party and hang out with you and like you. Um, outside of that, yeah, just, just you, like, obviously, like, be a nice person, be a nice guy, but you have to understand that there's a way to be sort of that alpha asshole dude, but you're not, like, an asshole. You're just exuding and, 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 um, you know, showcasing your male capabilities, your your male character traits, and and living in them, um, you know, confidently and firmly. And when you do do that, that's going to bring you a lot more success than operating out of this like, I'm not so sure zone. And you know, it, 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 if you come from that energy space and and that sort of just like spineless like no like you just you're, you're taking you're not giving energy the positive energy and you know you just kind of seem like half of a male like that's just not gonna do great for you in this realm anyways i'm gonna save some of this for later pretty full uh so i'm gonna wrap this one up hopefully you guys enjoyed that leave comments down below um roast me or don't roast me or whatever you want to do i don't know but until the next one you know what it is eat good live well stay true peace <laughs>